Hi, welcome to the last session of the ClearPass demo series. In this session, we will be covering ClearPass Exchange and more specific, the integration with the Palo Alto firewall. So what we did in the last sessions was we uh, onboarded an Android tablet. We onboarded a Windows 10 uh, system as a contractor. We did some profiling on uh, uh, IP phones on access points and we used this uh, demo setup for um, for that uh, for that demo and um, there is a Palo Alto firewall here and what we can do uh, which is pretty cool is from the ClearPass as soon as we learn the identity of a user on the network we can share that information uh, with Palo Alto and um, we call that ClearPass exchange uh, it can be done with Palo Alto it can be done with a lot of other uh, equipment as well um, but here for the demo, we will be showing the uh, Palo Alto uh, integration. So, um, yeah, let's bring in uh, the ClearPass server again and uh, show you uh, what uh, needs to be done uh, to make this happen. So you might have uh, noticed that here in the access tracker, I didn't... Uh, explain that but here in the enforcement profiles uh, we see an update pen w also here in the output tab you can uh, also see that we updated the palo alto firewall so this uh, means that it has been configured and it's uh, working uh, working fine um, also we see here um, both wired and wireless lan uh, authentications uh, coming in so from the aruba wireless network from the aruba os switch uh, wireless network and uh, to configure this uh, Palo Alto thing, we start here at the uh, external servers under administration and the endpoint contact servers. So here I created a uh, Palo Alto firewall uh, external server type. Um, I put in the name, I put in a, a username and a password. And I think uh, I left the uh, other things, I left it the default. And of course, we need to create this username and password as well on the Palo Alto firewall. So this is my Palo Alto firewall here under device. We have our administrator and the administrator is called ClearPass. And um, this is the same password that I put in into the ClearPass server. And uh, what's uh, specific here is that I have a profile, an admin profile uh, called user ID XML. I'm not sure if that's in uh, by default or I created it. Um, however, if we have a look in this uh, profile, uh, what you can see here is that it has uh, disabled all features on the web UI. It has disabled the command line and here under XML API. So ClearPass is talking over an XML API uh, to the Palo Alto firewall. We only have enabled the user ID agent. So this uh, ClearPass user can only update uh, user ID information, which is uh, the method for uh, Palo Alto to get uh, identity information from external sources like uh, ClearPass. So uh, further um, here on the network, if we have a look at uh, the zones, we need to enable user ID on a zone um, if you don't do that, it will not uh, work. It will not fetch uh, the usernames. And trust me, um, I spent quite some time to uh, find this out. Um, and here on VLAN 2, this is the VLAN where our clients uh, are getting in. Uh, I have enabled the user ID to make this uh, work. So if we have configured the endpoint server in uh, ClearPass under external servers, we also uh, need to configure here on the enforcement profiles the update uh, Palo Alto Networks uh, post authentication method. So let's have a look what's in here. It's uh, for the type uh, post authentication and here the attributes are uh, the Palo Alto firewall that it's a service type and uh, the server IP is this uh, server IP which is the same which uh, we previously configured and then uh, finally uh, to uh, trigger this uh, enforcement profile we attach it uh, here in our enforcement policy so here we see um, the employees will get uh, VLAN 11 corporate access and they get an update uh, to the Palo Alto network and that is exactly what we see here uh, happening in uh, the access tracker so this is a real uh, live uh, authentication request 
we see here at the output that it has uh, sent the information to this Palo Alto firewall. So the Palo Alto firewall should now know that uh, this uh, user uh, with the IP address 10 1, 21 109 is um, actually the same as uh, the user contractor. So let's have a look in the Palo Alto here on the monitor. That's the place where we can uh, see that. And here um, indeed we see that uh, 10.1.21.107 it's uh, employee. Um, we also see this uh, user here. It's a contractor um, which is going to Twitter. So uh, without his integration, uh, this uh, whole uh, column uh, with source user would be empty. Uh, but with this integration, we were able to uh, to bind this user information to um, to an IP address, uh, so we have a much better visibility into uh, the traffic that's going on the network. So uh, for all the thing, this is uh, pretty cool uh, because it doesn't only work for uh, for domain users, um, but if this was there, would be a guest user. Um, you would have seen here uh, the guest user ID uh, that's uh, accessing the internet and in some environments uh, you want or you are required to keep a copy uh, and to know uh, who is uh, who, which person is uh, generating traffic and this uh, nice integration will help you uh, to get that information. So that's it for now. Um, this was the demo that I did uh, a few weeks ago. Um, so we went from uh, the big marketing thing to a much more practical uh, way of uh, demoing ClearPass uh, with onboarding, uh, with profiling, with ClearPass Exchange. Um, there are tons of other things uh, that we could demo. And uh, maybe if you have a request, um, please let us know. Uh, put your comments uh, below this video here on uh, YouTube. We'll read it and if there are uh, nice comments and nice requests uh, we may uh, create a video like this specifically uh, on uh, that topic. So thank you very much for watching. Um, this ends this uh, series of ClearPass demo sessions and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so my name is Herman Robers and this is ABC Networking on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching.